So today I got the Lego Star Wars Ideas book, which came out in 2018 from my local library. And um, I actually like sought this book out because uh, I'm a little bit of a creative uh, rut right now, or I'm having trouble thinking of some just new Star Wars build ideas. So I thought maybe I could just check this book out and maybe spark the old imagination. And I'm glad I did. It did maybe give me a few ideas of um, some new things to do. And, um, it's, it's really is like all the other Lego Ideas books out there to just kind of, you know, mix it up and change up the theme. But here you've got the table of contents and just see the vast amount of ideas that this book has. And, um, you know, little samples like this Yoda will be on page 30 and this uh, droid bot will be on page, this pit droid will be on 63. So just a lot of, a uh, lot of ideas for uh, builders if you want to check them out. But again, it's kind of like all the other Lego Ideas books out there. They're just putting a Lego Star Wars spin on it. And we'll kind of mention that when we see it. Um, and of course, you do have to have the um, builds, you know, pick your bricks, knowing what these pieces are, kind of the terminology and the lingo as you go through it. That's kind of an important thing because they don't know, you know, how advanced of a builder you are when you're buying these books. So that's kind of the beginning. Then use your imagination. We're still kind of just getting an idea what this book's about, where you're, you know, like this, this creature build will be on page 54, this Darth Vader build will be on 167. Um, so, you know, again, we're not really getting the book yet. It's just what the different things you can find in it. Now here we go, recreating. We got this big Yoda head and we start our build. And this, you know, when I first opened it, got me a little hesitant because this is really cool. It's kind of like a little viewfinder. You make binoculars and in the back you do little micro scenes. And I really like the idea behind it, but I don't know many people who have this many pieces to actually build it themselves. But I really did like the idea. And then again, I got a little skeptical because here I was like, oh, dice. It's just because Han Solo is dice in the Millennium Falcon. All of a sudden we're making dice here. I mean like, all right, are we really stretching our idea to make this a Star Wars idea book or just kind of retitling things? And again, I was doing this for myself to get ideas and I saw stack them up and I was like, oh, well, I'm already doing something similar to this, but rather than using two by two or one by two plates, I'm just using one by one color pattern. So you know, kind of look good to see I'm on the right path here with my ideas. And um, you've got your landscapes and 2D. And I personally am not a big 2D person um, because for me, Lego is a 3D art. But there's a lot of great designers out there who make some great two-dimensional art stuff. So I'm not going to knock it. I just say it's not my thing. Um, they got little Wampa games here. You know, make your classic scene in micro scale. It's funny because I actually see this micro scene in a lot of Pinterest feeds. So... Um, I don't know if it's from the book or people are just making their own from the book. And they talk about making your own droids, which I think we've all done. And then a mouse droid. And, um, you know, in fact, I actually just did a video on that a little while ago. And you got a little mosaic. And I've actually, this is a Tatooine sunset. But I'd done another uh, ideas book that was just another sunset. But an actual real place you might find on Earth instead of Tatooine. And we move on to like, you know, make a Jedi seat, make Jedi sculptures. And then you got these, je the Jedi kind of Coruscant landscapes. So rather than doing like New York skyline, you're doing a Coruscant skyline. It was funny because I'm actually looking to, um, just for the pieces to do my own Jedi temple and the uh, Senate building. So it's kind of funny that two of the buildings in the sandscape I was already planning on building. I'm just trying to figure out the pieces I need. So again, it's serving its purpose, kind of sparking that imagination. And this is probably my favorite thing about this book. It's the radical rebuilds where they take a set like this, set number 75135, and this came out in 2016. It's 215 pieces, and this is what you build. You build Obi-Wan Kenobi's um, Jedi Interceptor, but then they show you like, oh, hey, you could make a slave one of that. You could do like a little parasol. You could do like these different designs from all the pieces found in this set. And I, I actually wish there was more of these. This is one of my favorite parts of this book were the uh, radical rebuild sections. And then you've got these kind of mini land characters, uh, mini micro builds and um, fun games you can start playing. Um, you know, again, I think I've seen this like they did this with like a, a bear, a teddy bear, but now you're doing it with Yoda. Um, they're showing you how you can do t Ray Speeder and just kind of make it smaller. Um, the different creatures you can create within the Star Wars universe. Um, <laughs> so here's how you can make like this. The, if you want to make like the X-wing come out 
of the Dagobah Swamp, how you, know, you can build that. And the important thing is just kind of start with your TIE Fighter and build around it so you've got enough room. And I, the, you can build the Phoenix symbol for the Rebel Alliance, which I, I laugh because I actually never realized that was the Phoenix. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I've been a Star Wars fan for over 40 years and I just realized that that was a Phoenix because of this book. Um, build your own planets. Um, which again, we've seen this in other ideas books because with the round ball and building planets, but usually they're real planets, not, uh, you know, they're Jupiter and Saturn. They're not Tatooine, Mastroff, Naboo. Um, you got prepare for landing. You got more creatures to build. Um, this is kind of a fun idea to kind of create your own TIE fighter cockpit with like, you know, the little scanners and the handles. I actually like that idea of building the cockpit of a TIE fighter and a carrying case. And it kind of looks like the food Luke was eating on Dago box. You got a little lunch box, uh, radical rebuild again. Like I said, this is one of my favorites. Only the only difference uh, is like, you know, the set came out in 2016 and here around 2021. So I don't know how many people actually have this set. Um, Make your own imperial signals, um, kind of like just like abstract art where you can kind of fig figure out what this is going to be. More micro builds, um, kind of more of this like flat art, which, you know, like I said, it works. It's not my thing, but they are really good. And um, this is kind of cool. This is like an idea I never, um, never really thought about, but how you can use these translucent bricks, put them on a table, and just use the light from your smartphone to kind of make them glow. Um, you know, that's kind of a cool idea. They talk about doing those uh, 2D art, which is kind of funny because now, again, this is like five years later. Now this, I mean, you can buy these sets are so much more detailed. Like this has become a real art. Like it's just like something you hang on a museum wall. These are getting so detailed with this 2D art. Talking about creating the different scenes on Naboo because um, we're making a bridge. You got your mini land character here the creature from the new Star Wars film, um, The Force Awakens, character builds, you got your Radical Rebuild from Millennium Falcon, and I'm sure there's a lot more you can do with this because, you know, with 1,329 pieces, that's a lot of options. Um, there's that creature we saw in the beginning, they talk about making the, uh, the galactic alphabet and ba the basic black alphabet. Making, you can make different flags. Like this, for them, they use the pod racing sequence as their inspiration. You can make Annie's goggles um, that he uses as a pod racer. And it, again, you know, here we talk about, you know, this is 2018 and now Lego tried to do sets like this and I, I, the, sketch or the sketch sets. And I don't know how well those did, but you know, you kind of see the, the seeds of the idea way back here. Um, so I'm making just like a shadows of characters and maybe guessing who they are. Um, how to make like a nice waterfall. Oh, this is kind of fun, like how to, um, how to make these spheres, this armillary. Armillary, I actually never knew that was a term. Armillary is what they are, but when you have something revolving around the planet, so rather than planets revolve around a planet or moons, you've got an X-Wing and a TIE fighter chasing each other. And then here you've kind of got um, Leia and a, uh, well, what should be a scout troop, but looks like a storm troop just kind of goes around a tree and how you make it circle and spin. you got the make your own droids. You have like a, a silhouette of a city. So rather than making a city landscape, you can make the silhouette of a city. Um, middle micro scenes here. Um, and then, you know, make the Star Wars logo and how you do that. Make a holocron box. Again, we have the different sea creatures of Lego. And then we've got the expanded universe. So how you can make your own stuff. So make a new type of alien. Make those um, instruments from the uh, Bib Fortuna band. Kind of create, you know, different starfighters that maybe didn't actually exist. Like the W-wing fighter. Um, the game of a trap, like say a trap analysis, trap Akbar, Akbar because it's a trap. Very famous line. Uh, again, this is like one where I was a little like disappointed, like a skate park, like build the Isra a skate park. It's like, really? That's Star Wars? Okay, okay, okay. Um, build a little base, but do it so that all these different pieces are modular and kind of be taken in and out and rearranged. Build your own type of speeder, kind of recreate classic scenes. They talk about like the right spacing for that. Oops. <laughs> I dare actually my uh, kids, Builder Kitty and Builder Monkey went through this book and gave me a little, I dare you to build these things. So I guess they want me to build this. I have to remember that. Um, kind of go here, making different uh, droid factories, different droids. 
Oh, they're talking about the mixing up the Starfighters. Um, and for those big Star Wars fans, you know, we call these uglies, where they just take different parts of fighters and put them together. Creating our own scenes. Zip lines and the different things you can use for a zip line. Got like building different Ewok heads for like a tower. Mechs. Star Wars is very many mechs. Um, we got the beach scene. I think every career set needs a beach scene. Even like the Santa holiday set had him at the beach. We got our own radical build again. Um, building our own speeders. We got the exotic flowers. Um, different types like, you know, kind of maybe change up the design of the hammerhead into something else you would create. Kitchens. Kind of reconfiguring your battle droids, making an obstacle course for Luke Skywalker to use on Dagobah. Um, kind of being colorful, making an art project. Maybe it doesn't have to be the colors of TIE Fighter, make it more rainbow, be, be, be very artistic with it. We got a wrap rebuilt on another Millennium Falcon. Grievous's robots. Um, um, actually, this was actually fun because I've been wanting to buy, uh, build a TIE Striker and uh, this isn't the best design, but I like it enough that I actually might do a tutorial on that one. So that's, that was kind of cool. So again, I got a little bit of inspiration from this book about some ideas I could build. We've got kind of like turning in like the classic castle set into something that's Star Wars themed. Recoloring your vehicles again, building catapults, recreating lightsabers to try to build the different characters' lightsabers. Um, kind of building speeders, so rather than the, the speeders we had on the Tatooine race when we found Anakin Skywalker, give, you know, Boba Fett a speeder. What would Boba Fett's um, pod racer look like? The challenges. Now, this is more games, and, you know, instead of pin the tail on the donkey, we've got pin the arm on the wampa. Uh, you've got this Mustafar, the uh, race to the top of Mustafar, and Mustafar, I can never pronounce it. Anyway, but, you know, we've seen this build, and basically it's, it's, a, it's a mountain, it's, a, you know, it's a different things for different um, themes, and this time they're making it Mustafa, uh, Vader's home world, you got bowling for stormtroopers. Kind of like, you know, we have pick up sticks, it's pick up lightsaber sticks. We got, um, it's kind of like a pattern where you have to figure out how to, like, figure out the circuitry. Got a little, you can make your own little speeder course where each uh, set is like, each stud is like a different piece or a different space. You can see, like, how quickly I can build a robot. It's kind of fun, like you basically, uh, you toss Boba Fett into the Sarlacc pit, so you take the speeder and launch him into the pit. You can use it as a bar graph. This is like more thing, like a lot of these games that revolve around things are like, you know, you, you roll a dice and each stud is like how many moves. So one stud, two studs, three studs, you have guess the Wookiee. Um, Tic-tac-toe, but you kind of create different species. Like you got Millennium Falcon for uh, the O's and lightsabers for the X's, but you're basically building tic-tac-toe, and that's the uh, target Millennium Falcon that they're using. Um, you got to kind of switch up your minifigures, another catapult. I actually like this, name that lightsaber. Um, I, I do something similar with the, the, the color frame, something about maybe doing some of these lightsabers as a, as a guessing game. So you can kind of build a lightsaber and be able to guess which lightsaber it belongs to. We got another one's fast builds. Um, it's kind of like, you know, you roll BBB-8 instead of marble down here without trying to hit any of the obstacles. You've got the guess the picture, like what's different between these two, and you just try to find the differences. You build two exact models, and you just make some small changes. You've got spinning Luke to try to knock down Darth Vader and the stormtroopers, a little violent tether ball. More catapults. Oh, that's like the guessing game where you move them around. Ooh, where? Where's the droid? Where's the droid? Where's the Kyber crystal? Where's the Kyber crystal? I don't know. Is it under one, under two, under three? Guys can make a rolling log. Take your uh, thing. You got croquet. So, oh, you can roll down the battle droids. You can kind of see like a, a lot of similar themes with this. <laughs> it's like Wheel of Fortune, but it says Jar Jar Roulette. <laughs> Oh, and here uh, you'll build half the face, and then your friend has to try to build the other half. Um, a little maze you can make, you know, trace it with your finger to see if you can get through. 
Um, oh, like instead of go fish, you kind of go play hook the bantha instead of hook the fish. That was kind of a fun one. Create your own clone troopers. And then use it. So here's where we get things like the pencil holders, but instead of a pencil holder, just make it look like Django Fed or Darth Maul, a piggy bank that looks like a Gamorrean guard. Um, a, a display case looks like the Star Destroyer. And um, here you've got Darth Vader's head, but as a pumpkin. And it's funny because they actually talk about how like, you know, maybe you don't have enough black pieces. And if you don't have enough black pieces to make Vader's face, make it a pumpkin instead. But I'm pretty sure most of us have more black pieces than we have orange pieces. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, kind of set up a background where you make your own space battle with the star's background. Um, this is a bookend, and I really like the idea of a Lego bookend, um, but I tried to build one once, and what I learned is Legos are very light, and books are very heavy, so if you're going to build this, you're going to need that to go way out to counteract the weight of the books, or make this hollow so you can like put coins or something heavy in it so it weights it down, because if it's just Legos, it's going to be too light to keep your books up. But that's what I learned when I tried to make my own book ends. Um, again, we got some more flat art. You got like make a, this is actually a really cool, like a little desk organizer, but I like the way that those drawers swing out. Like these pull out, but those kind of twist on a hinge plate. So I, that's kind of a cool idea. Um, you know, got a keychain, a flower vest, face, uh, the family tree, the Skywalker family tree. A little movie set. Maybe I can make a movie set with like different scenes on different walls. A Jedi uh, lightsaber carrying case and how you can make it like lock uh, kind of like a cool N like the letter N for your name if you want to do something like that um, different stands for your minifigures a paper carrier looks like a shield generator ornaments you hang um, lock away your valuables in a safe <clears throat> and kind of show how you can make the key work here where it kind of goes through the hole sticks out and then pulls the lock um, making uh, just kind of scenes in the movie, pencil, um, pencil toppers, and like the different pieces you might be able to use to make pencil toppers. And I've actually always wanted to try this. I've actually tried doing something like that with those different pieces. Um, <laughs> a Darth Vader like key case that so basically like his chamber, how it opens and closes. You open it and close it to put your keys in so you don't lose them. You get a little like pencil case here. Uh, it holds your pencils, but it looks like you know the doors from something in Star Wars. And then of course you've got your Christmas theme, another pencil carrier, carrying case with the Kyber crystals. And we just got some different ships here, putting them out. And then for some of those, like guess the Wookiee, guess the lightsaber, they actually give you the answers in the back of this book in case you didn't know it. If you wanted to take the time to figure out the difference between those pictures, they give you the answers. And then we meet the people, the builders, um, for, some, for many of these ideas, like why they chose the minifigures, what's your favorite piece. Um, and that's always kind of fun to see because, you know, it's like these are not all just professional Lego artists. A lot of them have other jobs and it's just like a hobby for them. And of course we have our index and, and there's the book. So um, again, I got this book originally to just kind of spur some ideas about you know other things I can do and it did help me with that. Um, it was a lot of fun, but I feel like if you have one ideas book, you can pretty much be good with one ideas book. If you're a big Star Wars fan, then great. Um, but if not, you know, they're all basically the same builds and ideas. It's just with a different theme. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.